Welcome to Line Table Screen Printing by Jury Philippines. I am Jin from Jury. Today we want to go over screen printing process from the beginning to the end. This video is made for the beginner screen printers so that they can quickly understand overall production flow. If you want to know more details about each steps, please check our tutorials about that specific topics. Let's get started. We chose 8 screen printing steps. They are Design Color separation Transparency Screen coating Screen registration Exposure Printing and reclaiming. First step is design. You can make designs with Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, or any other graphics software. Or you can purchase ready-made designs from a website like Jury.com. We recommend one color or two color designs for beginners. In this video, we will take this two color design as an example. Second step is color separation. You need to separate each color from the design so that you can make one screen per color. You can do color separation manually with Adobe Photoshop or you can use color separation software for fast automatic color separation. In this example, red color and white colors are separated. For more details, please check our color separation video. Third step is transparency. Separated colors must be printed in black ink on transparency, which is acetate film. This black ink blocks light so that immersion behind that black ink remains unexposed to the light and washes out, creating a stencil. Fourth step is screen coating. Coated screens must be completely dry before exposed. Because immersion is light sensitive, coated screens must be kept out of light source, preferably in dark room while being dried. For mesh count for the screens, we recommend 100 or 110 mesh count for the beginners. Fifth step is screen registration. This is when you accurately position transparencies on coated screens so that each color design on each screen is exactly aligned with the complete design. Sixth step is exposure. You expose a coated screen with transparency on to the light source. Then remove the transparency from the screen and wash the screen with water. Unexposed portion will be washed out, revealing open mesh where inks go through. You must dry up the screen before printing. In this picture, we are using DIY light box. It's made with 1000 watt metal halide light bulb and vacuum lid. It takes about 1 minute to 30 seconds to expose one screen. Seventh step is actual printing. 
In this example, white and red colors are printed onto a t-shirt. Printed inks must be completely cured with heat gun, flash dryer, or conveyor dryer before packing the shirt. Eighth and the final step is reclaiming. After printing is done, you can remove the immersion from the screen with immersion remover to use that screen for another design. Or you can keep the screen to reuse that design again in the future. Just make sure you remove the ink and clean the screen before storing it. This screen printing process is repeated for every new design. I hope it was helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.